Hey guys, Austin here with TYM. It's been a minute <laughs> since I've made one of these videos, but today I wanted to walk you through how to add an accordion drop down to your Squarespace site by using the Markdown tool. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's just jump right into this. I apologize for the bad audio. I am doing this from home today. Um, life has been pretty crazy at Trek Your Market, so I'm trying to do all of this all at once. Um, we have officially booked out all of the rest of 2018 and are now starting to book into the latter half of 2019, later latter half. So um, Trek Your Market is doing amazing, but I still wanted to provide you guys with these how-to. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and visit one of my client sites. This is a company based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico that builds overland vehicles that will take you all the way from Alaska to Patagonia. They have this amazing company but needed a website to not only show off their products but entice people to contact them about building out an amazing truck like this one. So one thing that we did here on the details page, I guess you would call it, was creating this accordion drop down. And the reason we did that is because it's a lot of information, especially since they have multiple builds here, uh, for someone to be scrolling. So what I did here was create this accordion style so that say, um, the client has a forerunner. They only have to click on the forerunner information in order to find out what they need instead of having to look through all the different builds. So let me show you how you can do this on your own site. I thought we could go ahead and use my site as an example for this. So um, I was thinking that we might want to move the website design process process over to the social media process. Um, not that it's the same, but for the sake of this example, we're going to pretend. So here for social media, basically, I just say, you know, really simply, this is what I can do for you. Contact me. But instead, I want to be more transparent and tell you how the entire process works start to finish so that you know ahead of time before you even call me. So. Let's go ahead and come in here. Nope, we don't want to edit the banner. We want to edit this section. We want to come in here and add this lengthy process. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to paste this here. And as you can see, it's just a lot of reading. And a lot of people don't really like to scroll, including myself. So an accordion menu might be our best option. So. First things first, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually uh, drop this code into the blog post so that you can just copy and paste it. No need to write it all out. Um, but you're going to insert this code to allow the accordion to work within the specific page that you're working on. So for this example, it's going to be on the social media management page. And I'm going to paste it into here. Perfect. So as you can see, this to give you a little um, walkthrough. So what this is telling the page to do is to accordion it any time that it sees text in the H3 format um with or without a plus sign so maybe you wanted the drop down text in an h2 format or an h1 format whatever the case just make sure to change these so that it is associated with what you want it to do so i'm going to go ahead and click save and then i'm going to come up here and what i'm going to do is duplicate this but in the markdown platform. So it's already copied to my clipboard, so I'm going to paste. Oops, no, it's not. I lied. Come back over here. Sure, we can save that. Control C. And I'm going to go back to my markdown and paste it here. So anytime I see something that I want to 
have a drop down, I'm going to change it to an H3. Make sure to close that H3 so that you have the differentiation. Again, going all the way through. This is, I'm going to have to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do all these little H3 movements. <laughs> Web design. Social media. Launching. And moving forward. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to make this one in H2 so it stands out a little bit more and call that a day. One thing that I like to do is really add some space so you have a differential. I'm not going to keep this. Great. So it looks pretty good except for the fact that it's not centered, but we can get into that in a minute. Apply and then save. So what I'm going to do here is refresh the page to make sure that it's everything that I wanted. Perfect. We have the drop down happening. It's not how we want it to look. So it's all adjusted to the left hand side. Instead, we want it to look just like this. So let's just treat this like a standard markdown from here on out. So you can use this cheat sheet and then you can also look up general code as to what you want it to do so for this instance i want it all to be centered and come down here not that you need to close it but i always do Ew, i don't like that i like it all spaced out okay cool so from here that's pretty much it i'm going to click apply i'm going to delete the text that i had copied because i no longer need it click save refresh and now I have this beautiful drop down menu that people can kind of click on what they want to learn more and expand what is needed. One other thing that I would suggest before I sign off is I always like to put a little plus sign after the text and let me explain why. So when the accordion is condensed people might not know to click um, so either you could have a little note down here that says click to expand and learn more or this plus sign kind of indicates to them that there's something more to read. So I always like to put a little plus sign. Um, for example, here I have the little plus sign. I also have click on the vehicle to expand the specs, things like that. Anyways, hope this is helpful. Comment below if you have any additional questions. I would be more than happy.